Dear Word by Word Bride No prophet, no apostle, never, in no time, ever lived in such a time as we live now. This is the end. The pillar of fire has returned back. The pillar of fire that led the children of Israel, the same one that struck down Saul on his road down to Damascus. The same one has come with the same power, doing the same things, and revealing the same word, staying word by word with the Bible. All of the hidden mysteries were revealed to him. Did you notice, all the mysteries? Nothing new, nothing left out, nothing is going to be revealed from anyone else, all were revealed to his seventh angel messenger and have been given to us, his bride, on tape. It's all the bride has need of, notice again, all the bride has need of. Others need other things, and that is given to them. But what we need has been recorded and given to us on tape and IT is giving us rapturing faith. We are the church that the Lord God gave him. This is his headquarters. Here is where he told us to stay. Not a building, the tapes. We are that group of people that believe, and are hungry and holding on to every word. He told us to stay here and look upon the white stone, granite, word on the tapes. A voice from heaven spoke to him and said, Bring in food. Store it in. That's the only way to keep them here, is give them food. He didn't say look for something else, or that there would be new revelations coming from someone else, look upon this stored up food on tape, stay there. But just like they did in all the dreams he revealed, some took out that way, some took one way, and some another. A very few stayed and looked on to what he had told them. Now compare even that with the others, the dreams. This was a vision. The food, here it is. This is the place. He could not be any clearer to his bride than that. This was a vision, not a dream, a vision. The food is here, the tapes. This is the place, the tapes. We are doing exactly what he told us to do, listen to the tapes. It takes a spiritual revelation to understand these things. It's going to take spiritual revelation to believe and understand all he is going to say to us this Sunday. It will be a glorious time for the bride. There are so many things God is telling and revealing to us on this message. I want to copy quote after quote and give it to you, but I know he'll reveal each nugget to you because this is who he said you were. This is the church that the Lord God gave me. Here is my headquarters. Here is where I stay. There's a group of people here that believe and are hungry and holding on. We are that group that are hungry and holding on. Many misunderstand and make fun of us, but that's all right, we love and pray for them. But we only want one voice to lead us. Forgive me, but I've got to give you this quote. When he begins to sound, the mystery will be finished. Now, note, then it's time for the seven seal voices, of Revelation 10, to be revealed. Do you understand? When all the mysteries of the book has completed. And the Bible said, here, that he would finish the mysteries. Who would finish the mysteries? Your pastor? A group? Me? The seventh angel messenger, William Marion Branham. No one before, during, or after him. He would finish the mysteries. It may be the end time. It may be time for the rainbows to sweep across the sky and an announcement from the heavens, saying, time is no more. If it is, let's prepare ourselves, friends, to meet our God. Yes Lord, we want to be prepared to meet you. We want to do all we can. We want to be in your perfect will. Please tell us Father, what we should do to be prepared. There's been plenty of food laid in now. Let's make use of it. Let's make use of it now. Thank you Father for the food you laid in for your bride and the revelation of it. We are making use of it daily. I pray for forgiveness of my little church here, that you sent me down to, 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 to lead and to guide. Bless them, Lord. I did according to what the visions and dreams and things has said, so, the best of my knowledge. I've laid in all the food that I know how, 
for them, Lord. Whatever it is, Lord, we are yours. Thank you Lord, you told us once again. You've laid in all the food we need for our journey. I can't hardly wait to hear, is this the sign of the end, sir? With each of you Sunday at 12 p.m. Jeffersonville time. I know things will be revealed to us like never before. This could be the last time we hear it. What if it is something to let us know how to enter into the rapturing faith? Is it? Will we run, leap over walls? And is there something fixing to happen, and these old, marred, vile bodies are going to be changed? Can I live to see it, O oh Lord? Is it so close that I'll see it? Is this the generation? Sirs, my brethren, what time is it? Where are we at? Joseph Branham Shalom. If this video was a blessing for your life, like, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel. God keep you dear brother and sister.